Okay, hello everybody. This is uh, Brother Luke, Sin City Preacher. We had a technical problem uh, as we were discussing the Devil Part Three, and um, I lost the connection. We're we're doing this to try to find a, kind of end the show properly. So I'll call this uh, the Devil Part Three B. And all we really want to do now is just make sure we end the show properly by doing a an invitation for all of you who are have not put your faith in Jesus yet. So uh, we've been talking about the devil, uh, but uh, and the parable of the sower when we discussed that, uh, that's really what we're doing right now. Uh, Brother Stephen and Brother Bill and I, uh, we are uh, the characters in the parable of the sower, that we are the sowers. We're spreading seeds. The seed is the gospel. The gospel literally translates to good news. So we want to tell you this good news. The good news is that man cannot go to heaven because you have to be perfect. And no matter how hard man tries to uh, please God by joining religions, by practicing all the religions, by doing good things. We, we, we bring all of our good efforts to God and he, he's going to say, no, not good enough. You have to be perfect. So because we've all sinned, we cannot be perfect. But God loves us so much that he wanted to solve this problem we have. The problem is our own efforts cannot get us into heaven. We're lost. We need to be saved. So scriptures tell us that God decided to become a man named Jesus. Jesus said the reason he became a man was so he could give his life as a ransom. And that means that he, 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 wanted, he would be lifted up on a cross and die for our sins. And in, he said in that manner he would draw all men to us. So we want you to come to the cross. We want you to come to the belief that Jesus died on that cross and paid for your sins. And then he promised a miracle. He said that he would be dead for three days but raise himself to life. And he did it. That's the sign he gave us so that we can have confidence in him. Because he raised himself from the dead, you can be confident that, David, that, that Jesus has the power to give you life everlasting. So this is the good news. Even though we're lost, we can be saved by faith in Jesus. Uh, Jesus died for all our sins, so now we are eligible to come to God. We are acceptable to God. Jesus paid for our sins. Now we can come to God and have a relationship and eternal life, but we can only do it through Jesus Christ. So we're asking you now to don't, no longer believe in your own ability to satisfy God. Instead, believe in what Jesus has done for you. Believe that he is the way, the truth, and the life. The only way to get to heaven is because of our faith in who he is and what he's done for us. And then when you put your faith in him, he gives you life everlasting as a free gift. And then once you receive the gift of eternal life, you can never lose it for any reason. You're, you, because you've been born again as a new creature, you're a, you're a child of God. And then once you're a child of God, you can never be unborn. You can, you're a child of God forever. Now, Brother Stephen, is there anything you would like to add to that or elaborate on before we close? Uh, just to say that, uh, Brother Luke, that you know Jesus is knocking at people's doors, on people's hearts, and people's lives. They may not see it, they might not know it, but he is there. And I'd love to hear from anyone who's hearing this message today who have decides that they want to say a simple prayer to the Lord to, to come to know him and there will be a party in heaven today for anyone that comes to know Jesus and I just pray Lord for all those that are listening to this hangout and I just thank you Lord for all the opportunities that you've given us and folks answer the door let the Lord into your life, for he is love, he is grace, and he will change your life forever. Amen. Okay, so uh, this, this is the conclusion of our study on the devil, uh, and, and we will pick up where we left off next Sunday. And uh, 
if if now though you you've come to the conclusion that you cannot go to heaven through your own efforts and you've decided now you need to put your faith in Jesus instead you you're going to you realize now that you must rely completely on Jesus for your salvation if you've come to that conclusion and that's what you believe then you become a child of God and please make a comment and let us know if that's if that's the case and then the prayer that brother Stephen has suggested that I would say is just say thank you Jesus you've given me eternal life and I, I appreciate everything you've done you, you died for me and you give me eternal life as a gift alright bless you all in the name of our great Savior God his name is Jesus Christ